Okay, in this problem, we will be identifying if the two triangles are congruent. And if they are, then we need to uh, show or state the reason why they are congruent. And uh, the two triangles could be congruent with the use of the postulates or theorem that we discussed. Now, these are the side, side, side postulate, the side, angle, side postulate, the angle side angle postulate and the angle angle side a theorem. Uh, these are the theorems and postulates that we can use to show that the two triangles are congruent. And let's have a short recap how to use the side side side. Here, it shows here, it says here that when the two corresponding or when the corresponding sides of two triangles are congruent, then the two triangles are congruent. Here, uh, when the two corresponding sides of the two triangles are congruent and its included angle are congruent, okay, of these two triangles, then the two triangles are already congruent. And the third one is the angle side angle postulate. Now, if the two corresponding angles of the two triangles are congruent and the included side of the two triangles are congruent, then the two triangles are already congruent. And lastly, when the two angles, corresponding angles of two triangles are congruent and the corresponding side uh, are also congruent, then the two triangles are already congruent. So which means we don't need to consider or to determine all the six uh, corresponding parts to be congruent for us to conclude that the two triangles are already congruent. Okay, so let's apply this uh, by answering the problems here. So in number one, let's identify if these two triangles are congruent. So we have here, uh, these two sides are congruent and these two angles are congruent and these two sides are also congruent by a uh, reflexive property. So we have uh, okay, we have here the side, side one, side one, angle, and the angle, and the side two is equal to side two. So in this case, now which uh, postulate or theorem uh, support that these two triangles are congruent? Okay, let's see. Uh, in this item, mm -hmm. so uh, we have side angle side, but let's check if the angle here is uh, the included angle of the two sides. So in this case, angle a uh, side side and the included angle must be here. Must be here. Okay, for it to be congruent according to uh, side angle side. Since these angles are unknown to be congruent, therefore, we cannot say that these two triangles are congruent. Therefore, the two triangles are not congruent because of lack of information. Okay, now let's proceed to uh, problem number two. Okay, now I'm showing you problem number two, and you can pause the video for you to answer uh, this question or problem before we go to the solution or explanation. And after you have the answer, you can play the video for you to check if your answer is correct or not. So uh, let's identify if these triangles are congruent, all right? So let's uh, do it. Okay. So these angles are congruent, this angle and this angle. So we have angle, angle, and this angle is also congruent. So this is angle one, angle one, angle two, and angle two. Now this side, are also congruent by reflexive properties. So this is S. S is equal to S. So we can say that we have 
A1 side and A2. So we're using angle, side, angle. Angle one, side, and angle two. So let's see if the side is the included side in this triangle. Angle, side, angle, angle, side, angle. Since the side is included uh, in two, between two angles, therefore, these triangles are congruent by, by what uh, postulate or theorem we have a S A, the angle side angle partially. Okay, so now let's go to the next example. Let's try item number three. Okay. Now let's try uh, answering this item. So again, you can pause the video and try to answer if uh, these two triangles are congruent. And once you have the answer, uh, you can uh, continue playing the video and check whether your answer is correct or not. So let's check. This is, okay, side one, side one, side two, side two. And the third side is this. The, this side is the common side uh, between the two triangles. So this is side three and side three. Since we have S1, S2, S3, and the corresponding, uh, the two corresponding, sorry, the three corresponding sides, okay, or the corresponding sides of two triangles are congruent. Therefore, these two triangles are congruent by SSS postulate. So therefore, two triangles are congruent. Okay, now let's proceed to item number four. Let's see if these two triangles are congruent. Again, uh, pause the video and check whether your answer is correct. Okay, once you have the answer, let us know. Okay, let's answer number four. Let's check if this is these two triangles are congruent. Now we have angle here, so angle one and angle one are congruent, and side one is congruent to side one. And what else? We have angle, side, angle one, side one. And what's the other uh, part that we can use to say that these two triangles are congruent? Now we cannot use this. Uh, we cannot use this uh, side because there are no labels. We cannot use this side because there are no labels. And we cannot use the angles here because there are no labels as well. However, there's another, or there's one angle left. We have this. This angle is congruent to this angle by vertical angles, okay? Vertical angles are always congruent. So therefore, this angle two is congruent to angle two by vertical angle. and. Uh, let's check, that's angle two. So let's see if the side one here is the included side in a given uh, label. So we have angle one, side one, angle two, angle one, side one, angle two. So therefore, uh, it follows the pattern for angle side angle. Therefore, we can say that these triangles are congruent by ASA question, okay? And I hope you learned something today.